I got a kick out of um, one of the Facebook pages that I follow from Long Beach. Someone said, remember when kids used to do little Valentine's Day cards in class and they used to let them do that. And suddenly there was a barrage of elementary school teachers posting on Facebook saying, yeah, they still do. And I laughed because my granddaughters had just been through the church parking lot and with their mom and dad and they had shown me my granddaughter Sailor had her bag from school filled with little Valentines and little gifts from all the other kids in her classroom. And I thought about how fun that kind of stuff was and how often we overlook taking the time just to tell someone you're special say you're great and all the little cute things that the valentine's card said and i remembered back when i looked forward to getting those kinds of valentines as well thought about how many years i've been getting my valentine debbie a valentine and how every single year i feel like it's just not quite enough and it didn't matter whether i was spending a lot of money or whether i was just giving her a card and telling her I love her. It just never has felt like quite enough for how much my love is. And I think about how in the world do we ever give a gift that's commiserate with our love? Because it's just impossible to measure up to that which has been given to us when someone has given us their life, their love. Someone has shared with us so graciously. It's a wonderful thing. I look at Siempre para los Niños and yesterday we were there and we just enjoyed it. It was, it was a fun afternoon. We had so much fun and the kids coming up to me and hugging me and loving me and just all the nice things that people said to me and just what a wonderful day. And then our cook Karen had made mole and I love mole. And she said, Pastor Eric, I have mole, mole de Karen. And Karen's from Mazatlan and she had this terrific mole, which made just incredible, just incredible. And I sat down and had a big, plate of mole over rice and I hadn't had rice forever and I thought about how good it all was and as I was eating this mole sitting there looking at everything operational and all these good things going on I remembered back to how hard it was in the beginning how every single day felt like a struggle how just getting property building buying materials getting people to come down and be part of the team all of it was a daily struggle and now there are all these people there loving each other. And so I tried my very best to cast that vision onto Hoel that, well, remember all of this has been built, all these people have invested in it, all these people have given themselves completely. Our job is to make sure that we're rescuing children. Our job is to make sure that we're, our job is to make sure that these little children that are lost, they become our Valentines and we can show them our love. We can rescue them, we can give them a place to live, we can give them a home. We can give them a hope and a future. And in our loves, our Valentines, and I don't know who you hold close, who you hold dear, one of the greatest things we can do is to give those people a hope, to give those people a future, and to let them know that we legitimately care about them. There are those that legitimately care about you today, and I hope that you'll take the time to thank them. You'll take the time to tell them just how important they are to you and you'll take the time to let them know that because of their love it's one of the reasons your life is miraculous step away from that which is mediocre today and step into that which is legitimately a celebration of life of love of hope and if that means going down to the drugstore and buying 40 little valentines and filling them all out and saying gee you're great or man you're swell or you have my heart and writing your name on the back of them, putting the name on the front card of each one of them and delivering them all, do it. Take the time to celebrate someone else tomorrow. And for that special Valentine of yours, make sure you let them know just how special they are to you. Hey, God bless you. Most of all, don't be mediocre. Be the miracle. Have an absolutely fantastic Valentine's Day.